Okay, everybody, this is going to be a, a very special day. I'm here with my friend Michael, and we're going to eat a bunch of chili peppers that were very cruelly sent to me by uh, a fan of, of the show, uh, Josh. Josh, thank Thanks, you. Josh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he sent me um, six different peppers that I have here, and Michael and I are going to eat these on camera and try to break down the, the flavor that is behind all the paint. And I asked Michael to help me because Michael had a very bold statement. I, I uh, have a hard time tasting spice these days, unless things are very, very hot. Yeah. <laughs> So if you eat like a like a jalapeno, how it, spicy is that too? It tastes like a like a bitter bell pepper to me. There's no spice. As far as like jalapenos, I just cannot taste the spice. That's yeah. That's that's a very manly thing to say because I, I like <laughs> I like hot things, but it's got like to be in food. Like eating a jalapeno on its own is like brutal to me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the the milder peppers. And then we're going to go on uh, you know, a little bit hotter. That way, you know, the, the, hot, the heat of the hotter pepper is not going to affect the milder one. So the mildest one that I have here is this pepper here. And Josh was kind enough to send me um, some information about this one, which I'm going to read. This is uh, the clouty pepper, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. And it's between 1,000 and 5,000 Scoville units. And as a comparison, a jalapeno is 2,500 to 8,000. You know, this is not as hot as a jalapeno, so this one's pretty mild. This is a pepper that is native to Tunisia, and is usually used as dry form. It's a crucial part of the North African condiment harissa. By the way, as we do these videos, we're going to have different types of painkillers to affect uh, the heat in our mouths. You know, some people they drink milk, other people they drink beer or yogurt or like whatever. So we're gonna try a few different things that people use to try to combat like the heat. So for this particular episode, we are going to try a suggestion that Josh had, cereal. I don't think this is gonna work at all. Just, uh, I'm gonna go on record. I think Josh is wrong. Okay. This is a bad idea. Not that I think you that hear this. Is, Josh? I don't think that this is going to. I'm glad that we're doing this on the first one, is what I'm saying, instead of like on the last battle we did. Yeah, I think like for me, I, I I think probably the best would be like how they do it in India, where they'll put like yogurt. Right. I think that's probably the concentrated like milk product. Right. Is kind of what you want. Ready? Here. Cheers. Cheers. I taste heat. Do you taste heat? Not really. That's a lot like a bell pepper, though. It does taste like um, like a red bell pepper, but with spice to it. And the heat is like less than a jalapeno. It tastes like like a cooked jalapeno, or like if you like have like a jalapeno popper or something, those are kind of like a little bit hot. It's reminding me of like the heat that you get from from a popper. That's actually really tasty though. Yeah, I just see that going well in a chili. Yeah, I say for like sweetness, it's maybe a little bit sweeter than a bell pepper, like a ripe bell pepper. Yeah, it's got some nice flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Even raw, like I could put that like on a salad or something. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. It's not bad, but nothing, uh, especially, so stands out to me flavor-wise. So I think we need to have like some sort of like scale for heat, and I think this is probably a good place to start. <laughs> Let's say like we have like a level of like one to ten for heat. Where... Let's rate it in peppers. What's that? We'll rate it in peppers. Yeah. One to ten peppers. Exactly. This one to ten one pepper. <laughs> this, you think this is one pepper? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. In terms of hot peppers, this is... Yeah, I can't, for, yeah. for hot peppers. Like, it's not... Like, a bell pepper would be a zero. <laughs> right. Uh, I'd say this is a one. A jalapeno would be a two. Mm -hmm. And 
We'll find out what goes on from there, because frankly, I haven't had something that I would call a 10. This is uh, a creation that Josh actually bred himself. So this is not a typical pepper out there. This is, he calls it a mutt pepper. Because it's just a combination of different peppers that he has bred into something that he likes. So this is his own special pepper. He said that they are comparable to a very hot Serrano pepper. They have some Tabasco lineage, along with habanero and possibly some Thai peppers. When we ate the, the last pepper, we did not need to resort to cereal. This one, uh, <laughs> this time, we probably will. I didn't realize Josh was this serious about peppers, like he's Frankensteining his own peppers. Yeah, that's pretty hardcore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, I, now I'm, I'm starting to think that the cereal might actually work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here's a glove for you. Thank you. In case uh, you want to be careful getting this on your skin. And by the way, we're going for uh, finding flavor here. Like not just torturing ourselves. So we're not going to be eating like big chunks of pepper. We want to like actually detect like what these things taste like. If you want to see people hurt themselves, there are a lot of videos on YouTube with that. But uh, we're trying to make this at least somewhat scientific. So yeah, I, I mean, uh, but we may record some of that other stuff for your Patreon extras, right? <laughs> of us just like <laughs> crying on the floor, covered in cereal. <laughs> That one's actually fruity. Okay. It's got like a raspberry type vibe to it. The heat isn't affecting me that much yet. <laughs> but it feels like it's building a little bit. I can feel a little something. It reminds me of like, um, like a dry chili pepper. Yeah, but there's, it's not even like, the weird thing is it's not sweet. But flavor-wise, there's like something to it that reminds me of a raspberry, or like a. Mm -hmm. So there, there's like a berry flavor to it. Yeah, I can get that a little bit. It is. It doesn't taste just like bell pepper with heat. It does have um, a fruit taste. Yeah, the heat isn't actually that bad. No, but I like that. Good work, Josh. Nice one. <laughs> this is something I can see using to. Um, to cook with. The kind of heat I'm feeling, I don't know if you're getting it, it's like not my tongue. It's my throat. That's what yeah. I'm feeling. Yeah. Like the back of my palate yeah. is like feeling hot. Like one to ten, where uh, two is a jalapeno. I guess this is a three. I guess this is definitely spicier than a jalapeno. Yeah. I think so too. I would say like a two and a half or a three out of ten. Do you still taste the heat? I do. Do you want to try the cereal? Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. I want to try that again on a spicy pepper. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, uh, I mean, I still feel the heat, but it kind of like covers it up a little bit. So it's just like having something else. Yeah, it's like distraction. I think maybe like cereal with uh, milk in it, that might be better than milk alone. Maybe just to give a little bit more flavor and sugar and stuff like that. But uh, on its own, it's helping maybe a little bit. Uh, all right, so I think that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and again, thank you, Josh. Uh, Josh wanted me to tell everybody that uh, to go and support your local farmer's market, which is always good advice to do that. Michael, he's a accomplished comic book artist, so if you want to check out his stuff, check out his information in the links below, and um, yeah, see you next time.